So just like with clothing and fashion, as soon as it starts to get a little bit warmer, you like to reveal the skin on your face a little bit more. And by reveal, I mean we start wearing foundations that have got a slightly lighter coverage and you want something a bit more dewy and natural. And for that, your skin has to look its absolute best. So I'm here today to talk you through a couple of products that I think will help to kind of give your skin that boost and that spring clean that it might really need. So the first thing I think is you want to really concentrate on brightening your skin and getting it clean and fresh looking. So that doesn't mean kind of attacking it and if you've got breakouts going in with really harsh products, it's just gently building up the brightness of your skin. So cleansing with something kind of thorough but gentle and slightly brightening like the Una Brennan Vitamin C um, cleansing oil will be really helpful because it's very gentle and it helps to kind of lift impurities but you can also get in there and give your skin a really good massage while you're doing it which really helps to brighten the appearance of your skin skin then nothing can kind of brighten skin like exfoliating and I've got kind of a couple of different options here that I like so I've got two kind of chemical um, two kind of manual exfoliants the first one is the Caudalie deep cleansing exfoliator this is nice because it's very gentle but it does also leave your skin feeling very clean and fresh looking any dead skin cells kind of um, are removed and it's a very nice product and very easy to use then the next one is a slightly gentler version and this is by Ren and it's their micro polish cleanser which looks like this and this has got lots of brightening ingredients in but it's very light and it kind of is almost slightly foaming so it really helps to give your skin that kind of pretty polished appearance and it smells beautiful like all the Ren um, products from the brightening range it's got that kind of orange marmalade type of smell and then if you like something that's kind of not a manual exfoliator and you prefer something chemical then the um, um, what's this called? Inten I don't know. Skin Brightening Exfoliating Peel by Miriumaya. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I can never say it properly. Very potent. I would only use this like once a week or so. Make sure you go ahead and use sunscreen after you've used it because like I said, it is very, very potent but a very nice product and it will help to kind of brighten up your complexion. Then, in terms of treating your complexion, nothing beats a good face mask. And I love using a kind of brightening, cooling face mask. In the summer, I'll tend to kind of go for things that are more cleansing and things that are more kind of um, targeted at removing any grease from your skin. But during this time of year, I like things to be very gentle. This is the Emmy Spring Clean Cooling Clay Mask even the name is appropriate. Just a nice kind of thick clay mask that really refreshes your skin but doesn't overstrip it and it smells like lemonade, it smells lovely. And then I've also got here the Ren Invisible Pores Detox Mask which looks like this. This is lovely as well, it's similar to the Emmy one but um, not as creamy, it's a little bit more clay based and a little bit more detoxifying but a really lovely clay mask and I would use something like this maybe twice a week, um, maybe three times even if my skin was particularly bad. Then in terms of adding a little bit of a glow to your skin, I think adding a little bit of colour to your face is key and my favourite, favourite ever product is the Almay Sunless Tanning Gel for face. This is just amazing. I buy this on eBay because it's very hard to get hold of. It's very inexpensive. It's a tinted gel. You can see there, it's just amazing. It really gives your skin a little bit of a glow and it's sheer and it's beautiful and it's just the perfect, perfect product for just amping up the glow factor in your skin. And like I said, very inexpensive. Search for it on eBay, you will be able to find it. And then last but not least, sunscreen. I wear sunscreen all year round. I know I've kind of talked about this a lot before, but I um, really like like the Arc Anti-Aging Skin Perfector. This is SPF 30 and it's got a built-in primer. This is nice, I'll wear this on kind of um, slightly cloudier days and then on days where it's really warm, I've been trying out the Soap & Glory Super Shield Super Fluid SPF 50. This is very potent, it's got UVA um, protection and UVB rays and it just looks like this and it's got very strong SPF, it's a lovely texture. I'll show you, it's got this kind of little applicator and it's a very kind of runny, watery texture. Sinks into your skin instantly, matte finish, great to put your makeup over, and just great at protecting your skin, which I think is very important all year round. But obviously when it starts to get a little bit warmer, then it's even more important. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have got any tricks on getting your skin kind of ready to look a little bit more bare, then I'd love to hear those in the comments, and don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it.